great tribulation is a time of God's wrath. It's his wrath on an unbelieving, Christ-rejecting world. It's his wrath on every evil thing that men and women can think of and have done under the sun. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. So does it surprise you to think that an unbelieving world, cursing God and fighting God to the bitter end, with the whole world going to hell, literally, would shake their fist at God, form an army against God, to defend the right to sleep with who they want to sleep with, whenever they want to, kill whatever babies they don't want to have, and do drugs while they do it? Does that surprise you? So there is a great tribulation to come, and it's God's judgment on an unbelieving world, and that has nothing to do with us, because if you're in Christ, that judgment took place when Christ was on the cross, and when you put your faith and trust in Him, that's where the wrath was taken. And God made Him who knew no sin to become sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God. God has wrath on sin. It's either through Jesus Christ on the cross, or upon each of us, the wages of sin is death for our unbelief. I don't wish it on anybody. God's not one that any should perish when it comes to saving grace and knowledge. But you can be sure when that trumpet sounds for the church, the movement of earth to heaven, and we go out, it is time for wrath.